Hi everybody, this is Justina with Justina the Handmade. In today's video, I'm not gonna uh, sew anything, but instead I'm gonna show you how to uh, upload any of the PDF uh, pattern templates to Cricut Creative Space. So you can use your Cricut uh, cutting machine to cut the pattern pieces. I'm gonna uh, make this tutorial using the example of the AirTag holder that I created. Uh, this pattern is uh, available for free, so you can uh, download the PDF version of this pattern from the link in the description of this video and follow my tutorial uh, to ensure that you can uh, use this uh, pattern templates uh, on your Cricut machine and maybe you want to create multiple of them and just get a nice uh, crisp uh, clean cut uh, of your vinyl. So first of all uh, we're gonna need the pattern file. I'm gonna minimize my window and I have already my pattern file prepped. So this pattern file has four pages. We had our view of the PDF set up on the template side. And the first thing we want to do, we want to capture um, the templates as an image. To do that, we're going to use the screenshot function. Uh, you can edit the window size if needed. You just drag it right here by a corner. Uh, I just want to make sure that I that both of my templates are uh, covered if that's what you're going for and you, if you need both of them obviously on different patterns you may just do one by one or or you may just want to capture some templates that you want to use the Cricut uh, machine to cut them and uh, not all of them so um, because this is a small project and obviously it's easier to have them cut on the Cricut so I'm capturing both of them so now that I have it highlighted, I'm going to press capture and just going to take a look. It looks good to me. I have everything that I wanted um, included, so I'm going to press done. That image should be saved on my screen. As you can see, I did it multiple times, so I have three versions, but the last one is the one we just did. So now I don't need my PDF anymore. Uh, I can actually put it to my download folder. If you want to organize your files, you can just create a folder for them. Uh, and now that we have it ready to go, we can look it up. Yeah, it looks good. Then we're going to open our Cricut design space. And we're gonna start a new project. And now we know we wanna work on our capture image, so we're gonna upload it to our Cricut. Upload image. And now I know I have it right here, so I can just drag it over. Since this is just gonna be a simple image, I'm gonna choose simple continue. I know this is a background so I want to exclude uh, the little opening in a small pattern piece B and the background and now I'm gonna apply my changes and this is a cut image so I'm just gonna select and I want to use it as a cut, ima cut image and upload to my projects. Select the uploaded image and add it to my canvas. It's obviously way bigger than it needs to be. So first I'm gonna adjust the view on my screen so I can see the whole images. So now I can see my two templates and I know they are way too big and uh, you can always measure or the printed version of the template to make sure you have the correct size. I did that before I started recording the video, so I know that my tallest piece 
uh, the height of it should be 3.6 inches I'm gonna resize both of them at the same time they are connected so at this point there's no other way uh, but that's great so I see the size of my piece here it's definitely too large and I know this needs to be 3.6 so I'm gonna change the height making sure that uh, I have my resizing locked so it's gonna adjust the width as well so now I have the correct sizing of my project but Cricut still sees uh, them as a one image so if I want to move them around um, closer if I just want to use the minimum uh, of my materials I won't be able to do it to deal with this we're going to use the contour feature on uh, our Cricut so first we're going to duplicate our image you can use um, this button on, or you can just do command D and you, now you have two sets and we're going to adjust the first one to give us only this large piece so like I said we're going to use the contour feature and we're going to click both parts of our small piece now this shows only as the large piece and we're going to do that on the other image but this time we're going to click away the larger piece and now we have two separate pieces that then we can adjust the layout of them on our uh, mat when cutting uh, our project uh, so now basically we know um, our size is correct uh, and we should be ready to uh, complete our project I'm not going to show you how to use the Cricut machine I think if you already have it and used it you know how to proceed from now uh, I just wanted to show you how to easily uh, convert a PDF pattern uh, to an image and a file that can be used uh, in a Cricut uh, creative space. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and that you're gonna find it helpful. Uh, please uh, give it a try if you have a Cricut uh, cutting machine and see how that improves uh, your project making. That's definitely gonna be really helpful uh, if you are planning on making multiple uh, of the same pattern and you can easily just cut them out with your Cricut. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please make sure to leave a comment. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not yet a subscriber, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Till the next time.